What's up guys, it's Trek, and this video is starting in vlogger mode, and there's a reason for that, because this is not my house. That is my best friend, that is a good friend of mine's wife, and there is the good friend Jesse. So we are in Project FDL, if you haven't seen Boba Lolo's video, there's a full tour of this workshop, complete with all of its various, like, uh, I think it's called kerning when you sort like this, but like, this is a super dope setup. Uh, Jesse went ahead and laid out a station for me because uh, we are on our way to Scotland. We're going to Edinburgh, Ed Edinburgh, Edinburgh, Ed Edinburgh, and Ed Ed something or other. Anyway, um, so we're on our way to Scotland, and they decided that it would be super appropriate if we had Team FDL, which means that everybody has to use an FDL. However, I do not own an FDL, so I have to make my own FDL. Let's go. So we are about to leave for Scotland. It is this evening. This is Jake of the SCNC. Jake has a soup. What do you you this you named this one, right? Yes. It, its name is Newt Newt. All right. This is Newt Newt. The eyes rattle. Um. The move. Anyway, Newt Newt has Michelle 2.0s in it, and Jake came all the way over here to Project FDL so that he could get a forest lipo for it. All right. It's better to burn out than fade away. Da, 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 yeah. Motors aren't toast. They smell uh, a lot toast. Uh, I almost think that's more of the battery wearing down. No, that's definitely <laughs> the smell of brushes. Just <laughs> well, the FPS actually looked ridiculous. Uh, so there you go. You can run me shells on 4S if you just have a lot of money and not a lot of well something to give. What's up guys, it is a bright and sunny Thanksgiving in Atlanta and it's already cold here which means it's going to be way colder in Scotland. Check out that, that's some, that's some cinematic lens flare right there iPhone and we got like the, the hair halo going on in the background, fresh out of the sh- anyway. Alright, so we're actually going to tilt for proper lighting but uh, you want to know what an abandoned MARTA train looks like? Try traveling on Thanksgiving. We were a little worried, we weren't sure if Thanksgiving was going to be like a good travel day or a bad travel day. But I hope that you guys are enjoying time with your families because Jesse and I are going to be enjoying time with one another in tiny seats. Alrighty, so Jesse and I just said goodbye to the FDLs. Jesse felt really nervous about that, I guess because really he, does, he does not fly as often, so putting it in the check bag and letting it go was interesting for him. Security in Atlanta on Thanksgiving is actually like kind of clogged up. There are more people traveling than I thought there would be based on MARTA. However, he pointed out a fun, fun fact. In the suitcase, there is the newest FDO, which is mine, that was stitched together last night, so they're none newer, and his, which is the oldest FDL, so there's like a veteran and a baby on their way to Scotland, and we won't actually see them again until we get there, even though we have like a cool layover in Boston. Boston's gonna be interesting. We might even leave the airport, who knows. Obligatory plane train segment. Plane train! So we are doing our layover in Boston, which is exciting. Uh, Boston being a big beer town, Jesse and I got big beers because it was thematically funny. Um, anyway, I got a blueberry beer. Spoiler, uh, I really like fruit beers, guys, and my masculinity just doesn't care how you feel about that. But this gimmick is unnecessary. The blueberries go up and down. It's kind of cool that they do cycle through. It is sort of neat. It's like a lava lamp beer. Yeah. Why not? So, Jesse and I are now in Dublin, uh, both a little tired. The flight honestly isn't that bad. Like, I feel kind of like a jerk, but like, bring it on, six hour international flight. Her da 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 See, it's not even, it's not even <laughs> six hours. Like, what a joke. You, you can have domestic flights that long. I think. I don't know. It's close. It's close. Anyway, so we're in Ireland. Jesse got his first tac uh, stamp on his passport ever. And the Dublin airport doesn't have a ton of food options. So we might just kick it until we go to Edinburgh. But uh, Jackie will be joining us there as her flight is different. Because, she from Amsterdam. ah yes, yeah, she gets to hang out in Amsterdam. That's gonna be exciting. Alrighty, so we grabbed the Lady FDL and the Neil, and this truck is FDT. We are in the right place, friends. Let's go. It's cold. Check this out. 
Ah, oh, stupid iPhone. Never mind, whatever. I have dragon breath. Alrighty, so we just finished eating our breakfast at the place that J.K. Rowling wrote the first Harry Potter book and it's quickly becoming uh, apparent the inspirations for the novel are everywhere here. So uh, this is the castle and there's like some top or topic it's cold in Scotland boys uh, there's some topographical reasons for its current location and then this street is called the Royal Mile and you can tell it goes like all the way down there and there's like lots of little knocks and twists and turns which makes a ton of sense like Hogsmeade style like I'm a Potterhead guys I could go on and on but like uh, ultimately like I've been doing a ton of traveling in Singapore and in like Hong Kong and stuff recently and those are all very, very new cities. Jackie's so cute. She thinks I don't watch my own screen. But uh, it's, it's very good to be back in the old world. I absolutely love it, even if it is trying to freeze the Greek out of me right now. I felt like this was just worth including. Like, that's just a thing that's happening. It's actually pretty cool. Like, Renaissance festivals in the States have nothing on the real deal, guys. Full colors the whole bit. And it sounds awesome. Alrighty guys, so we are in Edinburgh, which is how I pronounce that, I guess. And we're in like a proper Scottish pub. The bottle list here is ridiculous. Like looking at it, I don't recognize anything. Because we're no longer in Bourbon World, which is where like all of my education is. It's all like real Scotch. So I'm having something called Le Freuk, which is a... Uh, it's like Gaelic, but it's super smoky. He's Big Al, and he recommended it. It's his drink of choice, and it is quite the poison. Um, lots of peat, and then Jesse's down there. And Jesse, for those of you that don't know of FDL, is actually a brewer. And so Jesse, being in Scotland with all of these like aged cask beer, etc., is like, I'm gonna have to carry Jesse home, is what we're getting at here. It's too cold to run. It's way too cold to run. Whew. Mistake. Good morning, Scotland. I should have actually towel dried my hair. Normally I air dry my hair. It's cold in Scotland, as evidenced by that uh, run. <coughs> Woo. run I shouldn't have taken. Also, talking really fast is uh, unfortunate here. Anyway, uh, we are starting our day over at Greyfriars, which is like this church over here. And there's like a historic cemetery around, which is what all of these various bits and bobs is. But it's like actually gorgeous here. And there's no snow yet. They must have known I was coming, so they held off on it. But I can't wait to eat at Gray Friars, Bobby. <laughs> Gray Fire, Gray, Gray Friars, Gray Friars, Bobby. Anyway, there's this really adorable dog statue outside of it. But the rule is you can't touch his nose. So don't touch the nose. So this is the statue. And you're not supposed to touch the nose. And this is the girl who just touched the nose. Don't touch the nose. Such a simple rule. So here is the back of the Edinburgh Castle. Uh, hopefully this is as good side. It doesn't mind me photographing it. And this is how you get the Ministry of Magic. I guess that's a function of the right here. Alrighty guys, so we are currently setting up for terminal infection. Here's Jesse and Jackie getting ready to be scientists. Here's Big Al and his super loyal crew of actual people he made. So uh, he has a fun new uh, toy to play with as well, which is very exciting. We've got obvious military, obvious scientist. So that's pretty funny. Um, the props are just on point, guys. They're killer. Al made all of these, but like these are all our medic points, complete with palm prints complete with shout outs for little Franksy. Excellent. Um, super duper stoked. Can't wait to get out there and actually start setting up the game and playing. We've got a quick fan meetup to do, but uh, we have this entire staging area and it's, it's super, super legit, guys. Alrighty guys, so we're combining. It's a two bandana kind of day. We've got the indoor bandana up here and then this is the terminal infection buff down there, but you can see the mall is being shut down and transformed into our zombie wasteland. That's pretty exciting. And these guys all saw me filming and wanted to be a part of that. So I just kind of want to show you that like this event is going to be stellar. Oh my goodness. So in here is like a skate park, but there's tons of people. If I pop over and look through, lots of people setting up their loadouts. I can't figure out why like two or three of these hairs 
I want to be on one side of the bandana. We got to switch it to the GoPro anyway very soon, but if we walk through here, like tons of parents, lots of kids, everybody's here for terminal infection. This was totally worth the six hour plane ride. I am stoked. So two games down, changing up to using some of these props. Check out this glowing EO wire medic point. Dude, how cool is that? Also, zombies. Ah, this is pretty cool. Okay guys, so we are in between sessions at Terminal Infection. We're back at the base. And Big Al just gave me my very first iron brew. And uh, this used to be the most popular soft drink in Scotland. Coca-Cola kind of edged them out, but it's still like an iconic Scottish soft drink. And I've been told it's a hangover cure. We don't necessarily need that, but it's pretty good. It's got a lot of pep in its step. It's like a citrus cream soda. Like Sprite and ginger beer got it on. So that's a, uh, that's a wrap. Terminal infection, both sessions, tons of fun. Huge difference between the first and the second session, which means that it's only going up from here, guys. Super great time. Hats off to Neil for hosting it. Neil's got a lot of good people. It reminds me, actually, a great deal of end war in that, like, Neil is doing a lot of work and really trying to make sure that everything's coming together, and at the same time, he's got just a whole handful of really great people looking out for his interests and making sure that his vision comes to life, and I have a ton of respect for that. Looks like we've cleaned up most of the darts. When you see my footage, you'll be amazed at how many darts were in here. I know that um, Lighthake actually supplied 2,000 in and of itself. Maybe it was 1,500, it was a lot of darts. And in addition to that, uh, people brought a ton of their own darts. But I'm currently looking for the Kavarakai, Kavarakai, whatever the plural of Kavaravix is. I guess it could be Kavaravixes. Uh, anyway, I'm looking for them because we are supposed to get the only food that's actually open this late, which incidentally, hilariously, is McDonald's. Remember in the Singapore vlog when I was telling you that underneath it all, we're all McDonald's people? Well, it's true. I'm going to make them eat McDonald's with me. So uh, that's what we're doing for dinner because we actually skipped dinner, which was powerfully foolish of us. But this is an empty shopping mall. What an incredibly cool venue. <laughs> mezzanine bar I mean obviously like this is very campy very universal studios very tourist trappy however like this is also just very very cool like I, I love silver screen monster horror and so this is pretty neat this is where that whole light show went on over there but like it reminds me a little bit of the Geiger bar but the Geiger bar like for me is almost like a religious experience whereas like this is a uh, I don't know, they put a lot of time in. It's kind of cool. <laughs> Alrighty guys, so our explorations amidst catacombs and little inward alleys, we diagoned our way here. Uh, took us to, uh, well, well this. So like, there's a carnival and a church. Like, I don't know, this is, look at this cathedral. Like for real, I mean, a lot of my audience is American, so I feel like it's necessary when I'm in the old world to point out things like this. Like. I don't know this for a fact because I'm not Scottish, but I almost guarantee you that this building is older than your country. So uh, if that's not impressive, I don't know what is. They've got kind of a, their version of a Ferris wheel. It's pretty small, but it lights up. Lots of blinky blinkies. This thing makes people throw up. And then all the way over here, we have like what I assume are various government offices, but we found the, uh, I don't even know what you'd call this. I mean, it's definitely on the water, but it's cold, so I gotta put the phone away because my hands are freezing. Let's go. That's no, okay. Alrighty, so we are getting fun chocolate kisses, but they're huge here. Jesse and I are gonna share one because we're buddies like that. Thank you, thank you. This whiskey bar has over 300 scotches, so we said surprise us. 
<laughs> Jesse wants you to understand that they're over 300. Ranging in price from anywhere to anywhere. I was gonna say, it's a lot like the Porter. You can spend as much as you want. Every once in a while, guys, duck off the beaten path. We just found a cool whiskey place called The Devil's Advocate. Woo! That was a step. We'll edit it out. We won't edit it out. Anyway, very much enjoying Edinburgh, which is how you pronounce it. Pronunciation is hard, dudes. Woo! All right, so good morning, Scotland. Well, um, I have letters to send, and they're both pretty fun. This one is the birthplace of J.K. Rowling, and this one's a Highland cow. What do Highland cows and I have in common? I'll let you guys guess in the comment section below. Anyway, Yay! Scotland. <laughs> anyway, uh, they have a proper royal mailbox complete with graffiti. So that is how you ship mail in Scotland. Let's go. Alrighty guys, so this is what we're doing today. Today's kind of a free and easy day, but you can see Neil's over there in the Foam Dark Thunder truck. Now we're gonna focus back on me. Wow, iPhone so snappy. So we're at Hybrid Brewing, which is Rab's Brewery. He is one of these awesome UK Nerf dudes that have been working us around, and he's got a 10 barrel setup over here, uh, split up into eight and two, which is really cool. Like microbreweries are so neat, and he's been kind of walking us through his personal process, and it's quite exciting. But the most exciting thing is that unlike the States, where everybody's getting rid of these bourbon barrels constantly, and everything can be barrel aged, here that's actually quite rare. So they're doing something pretty unique, and at some point we're gonna have to come back for this. So Rev has a single uh, old cherry cask here that's uh, I've been through quite the life cycle, but currently has a red ale in it, so that's going to be pretty exciting in a few years, maybe. <laughs> Who knows? So it wouldn't have been a proper brewery tour if we hadn't come under this machine and taken out an American ale. So, I mean, like, obviously I'm old enough at two centuries, so drink responsibly, kids. Alrighty, guys, so the bandana's back on because it is cold, so we're eating somewhere over here. We're going to have a proper Scottish meal. But I just had to show you this bridge. This bridge is ancient, but look at how gorgeous it is over here on the river. Like, oh wow. We ought to just hop in and have a river run, eh? Jesse and I have a layover in Boston. What's the place called? Millennium Hall. See, he knows how to pronounce yeah. that. He even knew how to spell it, and it was weird to spell. To be I've fair, been... I was looking at the map as I was spelling it. Oh. But Still I've been cool. there before. I grew up up here. Yeah, so anyway, lots of fresh food, lots of seafood. We've been told this is a little touristy, but I've never been to Boston formally. I've just flown through it. So this is going to be kind of cool. Uh, when you have interesting people with you, you take advantage of your layovers instead of just editing YouTube videos. Editing might be a strong word for what I do to my YouTube videos, but anyway, Boston Transit, a lot like Marta in that it is functional. Nope. That's about it. Alrighty, so the buff is back as it is really cold in Boston. However, this is uh, just a note to say that we are in Boston. It's kind of funny seeing like old world America and just like how little that compares to old world, old world. So. Uh, I know it's neat, we walked through the market, it's definitely a little touristy and now we're looking for a decent place to eat. Jesse insists we have to get seafood, so we're going to find some seafood as soon as we see food. But um, 